Welcome back to Hello Nigeria, a bright and beautiful monochrome Monday here in our studio. I think it was last week that I said Mondays are starting to become my favorite days of the week. And honestly, I woke up this morning and once again, I felt like I was back in to my favorite day of the week. Okay, um, I wish I could have the same excitement that you had. I'm, I, I'm I excited. Don't get it twisted, but yeah. it's just that my night was a bit turbulent. How come? I just could not sleep. Oh, and I hope sorry. it doesn't show on TV. How was it yours? It doesn't. You look absolutely gorgeous today. Thank you. Absolutely so you. gorgeous. Thank How's you. How's yours? Mine was okay. Managed to get enough sleep after a very busy Friday night that had me literally sleeping on Saturday, working on Sunday, and just not leaving home until this morning to come for Hello Nigeria. Honestly, Olive. So what were you doing while Serena Williams and Naomi Osaka were playing at the US final. Okay, first of all, I was live streaming and then I also was on Twitter, of course, and I was looking at the threads and what everyone had to say. I won't lie, I actually completely forgot at first that the US Open finals were going on. So when I started seeing Stay Strong Serena on Twitter, I was like, hold on a second, what's going on? And I went to go and live stream only to find out that Serena Williams had once again been literally ambushed by someone who just doesn't want her to succeed. And honestly, it's getting to a point, Olive, where enough is enough. Well, I I beg to disagree with you, but mm. maybe we should take a look at the video. So there were several controversies all over the winning of Naomi Osaka. The funny thing is, mm. I felt I felt really bad. I felt hurt for her. I felt Me that too. you know it was her moment. Mm -hmm. Serena made reference to the fact that she remembered how she felt when she won her first Grand Slam, yeah. and Naomi didn't deserve the way she was being booed at. Yeah. You know, she, she she could have gotten better. It was a taste of victory that she should have savoured. So I, I really want us to look at the video. And, you know, you think the referee tried to sabotage her. But on the other hand, I see things a little differently. Hmm. It's interesting, though. It's interesting because, quite frankly, if there's one person I feel sorry for the most in this situation, it is Naomi. She's a 20-year-old girl. She's a professional. And this was supposed to be her moment. I'm not angry towards anybody apart from the audience at what she had to go through because she's standing up there to receive something that she's worked so hard for, being the first Japanese person to win that Grand Slam. And all she can hear in the crowd is booze. Now, kudos to Serena, though, for standing up for her about that. But of course, they both had their issues during that match. And quite frankly, it was so unfair on the both of them. But All right, that was a real yeah. meltdown there. Like it, some people criticize the fact that she had a meltdown, that they used the term meltdown. Of course they would. As soon as a woman actually expresses her emotions, somebody wants to relate it to the woman being too emotional in some way. And the first word that they can think of, of course, is meltdown. All but right, at the same time, or, before we go into the next one, Murray did the exact same thing. And somebody came on Twitter today, literally, Olive, with the links to all the referenced articles of where Murray had insulted umpires, where he'd literally broken his racket on set. And nothing's happened to him, but oh, Serena no, no, no. is stuck totally with a $17,000 no, fine. I would, I would disagree with you on that. Mm. Okay, but let's take a look at the press release of Serena Williams and Naomi Osaka and how they felt and how they reacted to what happened at the USA Open Finals. So take a look at that and when we come back, we'll discuss in depth as to what size of the divide we're on and what lessons can be taken and how really this, this means, you know, what it means for us as Nigerian, Nigerians, I beg your pardon. I feel so sorry for her. I honestly do. She's 20 years old. She was playing against her idol. And all you would have wanted in that situation, which is already basically a double-edged sword for you, is for things to go well and for the best person to win. And then you can't even enjoy that moment because the entire match has been messed up by a lot of things that were going on. A lot of things that were going on that shouldn't have happened. And it's quite unfortunate. It's so unfortunate. I felt bad that she had to apologize for winning. Nobody should have to apologize yeah. for winning. You should enjoy and savor the taste of victory. Mm -hmm. Now, my two cents on this would be that I love Serena. Mm. I think Serena is the greatest of all time, like she's often time referred to. You know, I, I think she's an idol. She's invested so mm -hmm. much in the world of tennis, and I strongly, strongly support her career. But I don't think this was properly handled. I don't think this was properly managed. Mm. Why? First of all, it boiled down to an issue of anger management or emotional intelligence. The, the umpire called, he gave you a, a warning because he said your coach had, had been giving you signals. Now, this is not the first time this has happened in any match. It's ha the same thing happened to Venus in 2016 as well. The coach had, the umpire had told her to tell her coach to stop giving her signals. And she reacted in almost the same way. The only difference between Serena and Venus was that Venus continued with the game. She cleared the umpire there and then and told him, I don't cheat. You know, it's a thing of integrity for me. She cleared him there and then. Mm -hmm. She put her emotions on check and she moved on and she ended up winning that game. Now, what happened was Serena had already, she had already been beaten at first by Naomi. 
and then she coming out to have that emotional reaction. It's okay for you to vent. Vent, be upset, but vent and move on. And that's something we all have to learn to apply in every area of our lives. You would always have colleagues that would upset you. Your boss would upset you. We have issues sometimes and disagreements on set with our producer. Doesn't mean that you say, oh, my producer was wrong, I'm done. And then I will keep... I, the audience doesn't care if I'm upset with my producer. They just want a good show. So mm. I feel that she could have handled it differently. It's okay to have an outburst. It's okay to be emotional. But deal with it and move on. Because at the end of the day, she ended up going to... Breaking her racket, how was that related to, to her being given a warning for coaching? It was because she did not keep her emotions in check. I'm not judging her. I'm not saying that if I were in that same shoes, I wouldn't do something, I wouldn't do it differently. I wouldn't even act worse. What I'm saying is that at the end of the day, we all should learn a lesson on emotional intelligence and anger management. Okay, now I read an article this morning and I think this basically sums it up because I completely disagree. Now, it was a New York Times article that was written by a journalist that's been very close to Serena over the years throughout her career. And she was talking about the journalism that she was going through with Serena leading up to the US Opens, right? Now, she was saying how she remembers sitting in Serena's um, house with her. She was all sorts of details. Serena was in a pink jumpsuit that had flowers, very pretty and blah, blah, blah. But she went on to say that she said to Serena something like, what's going to happen if you don't win? And Serena said, at the end of the day, I'm not playing to win all the time. The best person is going to win and I can only do what I can do. Now, Serena has become a certain figure in womanhood ever since she gave birth. And that's because no one has seen a clap back that strong in so long. This is a woman who could not even stand up after pregnancy because she had other complications and she came back. She's played in how many tournaments? She's given her best to something that people do not want to see her doing, not only because she's a woman, but because she's also a black woman from America. This article spoke about how the woman was watching one of Serena's matches, sitting next to an American that was cheering on a Croatian player. And she said, why are you cheering her on? America is playing. Serena's there for us. And he said, oh, I just want to be different. The match was going on. Serena was winning. And she said that he, she turned to him and said, are you sure you don't want to change your mind? And the guy was like, no, I don't. I'm going to continue to support the Croatian player. And this constant thing goes on towards black women in America, and it's something that needs to stop. I so it got to a stage where, yes, Serena lost it, and Serena said enough is enough. And can I blame her? No, because for the first time, we're also seeing a public figure coming out and showing that, quite frankly, we have a right to be angry. Quite frankly, we don't always have to say, that because this is the system, we have to follow the system. If someone comes and says something to you, if someone does something to you that is so against everything that you stand for and everything that you fought for throughout your career, because as a black woman, you even have to put 150% into something that other people only have to put 100% into. If someone comes to insult that, it's going to get to a stage where you cannot take it any longer, and she has been taking it Very since she came back from pregnancy. And unfortunately, this was a break. But it's taught more lessons to everyone that's in found out instance, what's happened. And I think that's what's made this scenario so important. To, it's put a lot in the limelight. To be honest, everybody had a part to play. Now, the moment she cleared the coach, I was of the view that she could have moved on and looked at it as not an indictment on her personality. You cleared him and told him. The coach, at the end of the day, admitted that he was coaching. Now, the, mm -hmm. the rule states that there is no mm -hmm. on-court coaching. The mm -hmm. coach himself admitted eventually mm -hmm. that he was coaching, but Serena mm -hmm. didn't see him. Mm -hmm. And then she brought up issues of sexism and inequality. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, there have been other men that have been, that have been penalized, that have gotten warnings. It's not about From that. 2016, we've had the likes of Andy Murray, we've had Djokovic, we've had Nick. And several they get other away people. with nearly everything No, they, they don't. Do. They've actually been penalized. Compared I remember to how many the times match. they've been penalized. 2018, this year, did. Wimbledon. Um, Djokovic was actually penalized mm -hmm. this year as well. Mm -hmm. He was penalized last year because he mm -hmm. cursed under his breath in Serbian. And, you know, his reaction wasn't something... I was watching it and thinking, what did he do here? Marius and he was penalized. At the end the of the day, Leila, it's teaching you that talent is not enough. Character self-control is important. Tennis is a game of self-control. And if you're going into an interview, you would research the company you're going to work for. You would research the game. Now, if they already knew that Carlos was Olive. going to be their umpire, you would know that he's very strict with rules. It's not about that. It's about the constant sexism towards black women in particular in the sporting industry all around the world. It is not even about that. Yes, this is a matter of sexism. Yes, this is a matter of inequality. Because if you look at the marginalization, you would see that in the grand scheme of things, Serena Williams should not be paying $17,000 for what happened As yesterday. The end of to enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.